It is the last Monday before Christmas 2022. Oh, wow. <laughs> Miss Leanne Noel from Century 21 is here for Realty Insight. Thank you for coming in. Ah, thank you for having me. Always and a pleasure. Merry Christmas and happy holidays ah, to you and right yours. Right back to you. Thank you, Clark. You have some statistics for November 2022 that can shed a light into how the market is doing. Can you uh, bring us up to speed on November? I would love to. So I'm doing a year-over-year -year comparison, and Clark, this is all based on residential data from the North Bay Real Estate Board MLS system. So from November 21 to November 22, home sales are down 36.9%. We went uh, from 103 units sold in November 2021 to 65 units sold in November 2022. Listings are down 22.5%. We had 102 listings in 2021, and now we have 79 new listings in November 2022. At the end of November of 2022, the market was balanced, but still tilted in favor of our sellers. And the benchmark price at $371,100 in November 2022 is unchanged compared to the same month last year. We continue on with our theme of potential mistakes buyers make during the purchasing process. Nobody's yes. perfect, so people make mistakes. Of and this course. includes when you're buying a house. Yes. So the first topic is, Perhaps someone has that white picket fence dream of a perfect house. Is that reality? <laughs> Don't we all, right? Uh, it can be, of course, but you know, purchasing a home, it's a process of elimination, not selection. New properties arrive on the market daily, so it's very important to be open to all possibilities. Of course, your realtor should be providing you with a comparative market analysis on a certain home that you have your eye on, even if it is with that white picket fence. Um, this will help in the process of offering uh, and also give uh, the buyer comfort knowing that they've paid market value. Not knowing total costs involved, that's a potential mistake. Uh, you yes. can see the sticker price and say, oh, that's Great. all I need. Of course. But there's there's things Often that follow up costs. Absolutely. And your realtor should outline all those potential costs. We want to think about closing costs, legal fees, uh, don't forget any adjustments, uh, heating and hydro, that's uh, your taxes. If you're on a septic or a well, keep in mind having those tested. Take all that into consideration so that you're sure when purchasing that sticker price. Not examining insurance issues. Can you elaborate on this? I'd love to. So it's important that uh, when you do find that home, that you get that proper home owner's insurance on it to protect your family from injury and loss. Keep in mind that not all properties are eligible for home insurance unless certain repairs are completed. This includes a wood burning stove. You must have that wet certificate for the insurance. Oil heat. Uh, think of the electrical, if there's knob and tube wiring, uh, aluminum. So just be sure that those are checked off the list so that again, you're protected. Not doing due diligence. This can apply for pretty much anything in this world. What about home buying? Well, yeah, of course. So we're really, your sales representative should make a list of concerns that you might have with that particular property and in that particular area. You wanna think of your neighbors, uh, power lines, uh, crime rates, transportation roadways, uh, environmental conditions, all of these things mention to your realtor so that you fully understand what's going on. Uh, so that when you do make an offer on that home, that you're doing it with confidence. Holidays can be messy. So in the new year, we're gonna be talking about seven or so quick ways to clean up your home after the holidays. A vacuum cleaner would come in handy. <laughs> yes, I'm looking course. forward to that topic. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a stressful time for sure. And the house can get a little uh, crazy. So I'm really excited to deliver that content to our viewers. There's a contest and it's yes. not too late to enter. Can you tell us about yes. uh, your contest? It's not too late. And those that have entered, thank you so much. The photos, they're lovely. Uh, everyone can enter, share a picture. I would love for myself to be tagged in that photo, as well as your TV North Bay and the local charity of your choice. Three of those entries are going to receive a $500 donation from myself to that charity. And then five of those participants will receive a $25 gift card to HomeSense. Leanne Noel from Century 21, thank yes. you so much for coming in thank and you. happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Merry all the good Christmas. stuff. Happy yes. New Year. We'll see you back here in 2023. 2023, I'll be here, Clark. Thank you. There is Leanne Noel of Century 21.